I'm going to show you a quick tip on how to take anything from a web page and turn it into a widget using Safari. And uh, what you do is you find uh, whatever page you'd like. I'm going to use DallasCowboys.com. And here what I like to do is I like to read the articles as they come out. And uh, so I'm going to make those into a widget and have those on my dashboard. So what I would do is go to File, Open in Dashboard. Now notice it it, uh, it grays out pretty much everything, gives you a little box. You can move that box around uh, to different places on the web page. When it's over something you'd like, just go ahead and click. And notice it gives you the little handles. So I could change the size if I wanted. If I only wanted to give the top two most recent stories or three, uh, I, could, I can resize it however large or small that I'd like. Once it's the size I'd like, I go ahead and click Add and it will pop up automatically in my widgets. Notice here it says loading clip and I have my links here. I can move it around. Um, if I click on the link it will bring up my default browser and take me directly to that article. Really nice feature. Another thing that I can do is uh, I, you can really do it with anything. So for example uh, if the Adams Family theme is something that I really need to see all the time uh, I can go ahead and do the same thing here and uh, I just go to open in dashboard and I put it over the uh, video I add it and there it is easy access anytime I go into the dashboard so I've got the Adams Family clip I've got my Dallas Cowboys clip Oops. and anytime I go back there it is. If I notice the video reloads every time, um, if I don't want them anymore, I just use the normal uh, widget controls and I just get rid of them just like any other widget. Easy.